before I start this video, I just got to mention that some of my clips in this video are like really like some sound is really weird so because of the wind and I wasn't expecting the wind would be that like heavy and yeah just like just saying if you're headphones or earphones just be careful as the sound will change and hope you draw the video just getting what's up guys I'm at EFC vlogs back here today with another vlog for you today ECR facing Wrexham yes all like Wrexham today my second time going to the ground, I'm with Jason. Hello. Can't even walk into the um, ground. It's a new way, new new way to walk on the ground as there's been houses, a new roundabout been built, but yeah, there's not much lighting under the way, so I'm trying to get this done very quick. Yeah. So easy us all us, we're on the way to the stadium to go to the um Rexham Stadium. But I'm I'm not sure if we're looking confident today or not. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, 2-2? Two. Two, two. Yeah, two, because um, Wrexham, have, of course, I've lost their manager. They've obviously gone to Shrewsbury. And as well, they've got a FA Cup replay on the, the, for this Tuesday coming up. So I'm not sure what team they're going to be playing. And we're away from good at the Yeah, we've lost. We won our last yeah, five. We won our last five. I'm not sure if Wrexham scored in the last three games. Yeah. So it could be a bunch for us, but... Hopefully we can get a win today, it's a massive win for us to get continue the playoffs. We're out of the place Yeah, but obviously Sutton, um, we have Sutton and Gateshead, uh, G Game and Hannon against us, so... Sutton are playing Sully and Gateshead and yeah. So yeah, hopefully. My prediction, I said earlier 3-1, but I might change to easy, but I might change it to... I say, I might say 2-1 easily. 2-1? Yeah, I think we'll win today. We'll win 2-1. So hopefully you win today. Inside the stage of the score prediction. Three to Rexham. Three to Rexham. Ryan, what's your score prediction? One one. One one. Score prediction. Three to Rexham. Three to yeah. Don. Three to Rexham. Three to Rexham. Oh, you done? Yeah. So majority of to Rexham win, but I believe we will still win. I bet players are out. Warming up. So. Boss, what's your score prediction? Mm. 2 1 easily today. 2 1 easily, that's what I want for as well. Oh, 3 1, 2 1, 3 1. I think Josh Harris scored. 1 0 easily? Yeah, Josh, Josh Harris scored. Josh Harris, so yeah, that's, that's, I believe that's all of our score prediction. Majority of us went for Rex and win, but a couple of us went for easily win. So, wait and see. Got another half an hour to kick up. Early, early, oh! Hey, Slay FC! Blue and white army! Early, 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 oh! Early, 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 oh! Hey, Slay FC! Blue and white army!
I was all for it though. Come on, Come on, uh, two Yates. Who's out play? Yo, no support. She has to go back. Oh, go forward, you cunts. Same old Leesley. Go forward. Drive with the ball. Touched that in. I like that, you get it. LGBT. Oi, two minutes at the time. Two. Two. Okay, so lucky. 
deserve to lose, deserve. Full time, lost two now. Deserve. As we end my vlog, just got to mention that today's performance was not what was expected from the players. We played really poor just from the first minute. As you can see, we did we did that goal in the first two minutes, maybe even two minutes in the game. But I don't think it was any to do with our fault because I think he was trying to cross the ball. I think it was Jennings. He could come and try and cross it in. And I think the wind just took it and it just flew in the air and just dipped in the last second. I believe Max Trajek thought it was just going over, but he mistimed, um, mistimed it and obviously just dipped in right in the top corner. And yeah, from there, I started obviously 1 0. And from there, the collapse started to happen. From just the whole game, just the whole game was terrible from watching. But I just got to say that Wrexham didn't really have many chances either for that the first half. We did, but we didn't really make it anything out of the chances because we were just poor. What I, what I noticed that we were playing Paul McCann up front on his own, and obviously I think it was five at the back with wing backs, and obviously we were pushing our wing backs to go forward, and just all we were doing was just crossing in to Paul McCann. And when you see you see the amount of headers we had in the first half. Just it was just going wide or over the bar. It was just I don't know what tactic he was trying there. That's the first time I've ever seen him try that tactic, but obviously it never worked today. But he did change in the second half. But in the second half, it still didn't make a change. I, I believe in the first half, Johnson went left back. I think he did change formation to four at the back, but didn't change at all. Going to the second half, obviously. This switched ends. Obviously, we were watching where our EC was shooting, where we start sitting. And like you said, not many times had chances. Wrexham didn't really have many chances, to be honest. They they scored from a lucky counter attack from our, our our free kick, our set piece, and the players wasn't tracking back. Obviously, they had like four of the players, I mean, like three, I believe. Obviously, they're playing it, and obviously, Grant smashed it in. Apparently people were saying it was offside, but I don't think it was offside. So I made it 2-0, and from there, Wrexham didn't have many chances after that, but we had chances, just couldn't cover any of them. Like, I believe in, I think it was the 80th something minute with Bangor on Joe Jones and Oliver, Oliver Dennett. They came on way too late, because when they came on, they changed the game. We had more, we had more chances, but couldn't cover any of them. And if... Um, if Ben Strevin just made any changes earlier, like at least 60th minute or 7th minute at least, he, them substitutes would commit an impact change. But for some reason he, li he likes bringing them on like the 8th minute, 8th, 5th minute, like our youngsters or and any other player, which is pretty bad to us. Having the whole game, since they were starting 11 the whole game, so they'll get tired eventually. And obviously, I think that's why we've seen many goals like late on, obviously, tiredness and the players. And also, one player played, played really poor was obviously yet again Oscar Gobon. And he could have scored obviously against Wrexham, but I don't know what he was thinking. He shot way too early. I think he got pressured by the players, the defenders coming off him. He got played through and he just shot edge of the box where he could have dragged, like, took it more forward and shot in the bottom corner. But I don't know what he was thinking. He shot. And it just frustrates us, all, all of us, our, our, the fans who were watching. Then another chance with, like, it was near the end of the game with Mark Gates sliced the ball, which normally he should be finishing it from that position, but he sliced it and just went out. That's, that's two chances we could have at least did the comeback on. Well, unfortunately, we didn't. We lost two now. Just, just very disappointing. Wrexham now, I believe, third. Third or fourth, but they're still a game in hand, so they believe they win a game in hand, it'd be one point off top. Uh, that sits us at ninth, but we were still three points off players due to other people above us. Got a game in hand, and I believe Ebsley are two points behind us, which we'll do, we are facing at the end of the year, our last game of the year, I believe. 
which that game is there's going to be a tough game. It depends how our players are feeling because our next game is our next game is the FA Trophy, which I'm not won't be going to, but quite a lot of our fans are going. I don't know if we're going to try that to cup or not because I have no idea what's the plan for that. And after the game after that is another big game which we got beat four 0 at their goal in Harrogate. And I'm not sure what's going to happen as we haven't won at home with Ben Shemes at all. So it could be a draw, we could get smashed. Then the game after that, it's... Our next game is Haven Waterloo on Boxing Day. That's another big game for, for both teams. But I think Haven still try and avoid relegation. and we're, We are trying to get promotion. And the game after that, like I said, it was absolute, which they are two points behind us. And if they win the next couple of games, they could go above us if we don't win our next game, couple of games. So the end of the year is going to be really tough for us. Um, it's like it's a big achievement if you do manage to get and at least the two wins out of three. But I don't think I reckon we get at least one win out of three. I see. Then after absolutely, obviously in the New Year's New Year's Day, I believe again against having Waterloo again, which at our ground, which it could be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how big rivals we are between them, but people say. We are big, but this is the first time Heron we're big rivals with them. Just wait and see when we play them at their ground, and when they come to us, we just wait and see. And first, where we are in the table, it could determine what will happen. Also, before to mention, James Cuswell went online to Paul Town. I believe it's for I believe until Jan. How long is it? January until January, but then they have a, a extension offer for them to extend the rest of the season, which I probably think they will take, as Cosmo is a very good player, but obviously he needs minutes. At the moment, with recently, he's not getting minutes at all, so good luck for him until January, but I, I probably will get extended, so good luck for the rest of the season. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and see you a couple of weeks' time, probably, most likely.